and welcome back to another episode of the Dyna Build Series. Now, I will go ahead and start off by saying that this is an episode that I have been so excited for. Let me preface that with, I don't get excited for things. Like, I don't, I don't let myself get excited. What I'll do is I'll try to forget about it as much as possible. That way, when the day comes, it's like, oh shit, hell yeah. But uh, I haven't been able to do that with this uh, particular episode. And it's because, well, I mean, you've already seen the title. You know what we're doing today. Uh, we're wrapping the Dyna, guys. And uh, I, it was kind of like one of those on the whim things. I never had it really in the plans. I always wanted to do paint and everything like that. But right now I'm trying to pay off the Dyna as quickly as possible to get into other bikes, yada, yada, yada. So uh, I'm trying to kind of save money wherever I can. So that's when I decided to, uh, to try and wrap it. And I've never done a project this big or this intricate. So it's gonna be a learning experience. And uh, I love learning things. So I'm very excited, but also extremely nervous <laughs> but uh i know you guys are probably wanting to know what color are we wrapping it well i actually just now realized i don't have it out here yet so give me give me one second oh, by the way if you ask why i got so much it's because this company only makes them in 60 inch rolls so that's that's why are you ready you ready for this you ready This is kind of one of those battleship gray. It is a, uh, a matte. I was going to go uh, with gloss, but after looking at some samples and stuff like that, I found out that once they're gloss, up close they don't look very good. You can tell that it's a wrap. With the flat, you can't really tell unless you, you know it's a wrap, I guess. I originally wanted to do the actual battleship gray from 3M. But uh, after looking at it in person, let me put it side by side here. The Battleship was just a couple shades lighter than what I wanted. So I went ahead and looked up, I believe this is Avery, I think. I'm pretty sure it's Avery. It's basically the, the, the 3M equivalent. They've actually gained the reputation in the vinyl world as almost being better than 3M. They said it's a lot more forgiving, a lot better for beginners such as myself. So uh, what we're gonna be wrapping today is going to be uh, the bottom portion of the fairing, the front fender, the gas tank, which is what's worrying me the most, and the rear fender. Most vinyl installers will actually not wrap gas tanks. The only reason that I'm even attempting it is because with the Dyna, it's got a split tank. And by having this split tank, what I'm gonna be able to do is take off this center console, wrap into the middle, and then wrap, basically I'm wrapping it in two halves as opposed to trying to get it all in one shot. So essentially the plan for today is going to be to get the bike torn down, uh, all the pieces off. I'm gonna leave the fairing on, gonna take the windshield off. I'm going to get the gas tank off as much as possible. Uh, I might not pull it completely, but we are gonna drain the tank, just way that way it's easier to maneuver and stuff like that. I might end up having to take it completely off. Uh, it's gonna be kind of a, a game time decision. Um, and then get the rear fender off as well, and then get everything cleaned up. So if you've ever wrapped anything with vinyl before, the biggest key is to get everything as clean as possible. Remove all the wax, remove all the bugs, remove everything. You have to clay bar, get every single imperfection out of the paint that you can. That way when you throw the vinyl down on top of it, it goes down as smooth and flat as possible. Uh, this is probably going to be a long process. This episode is probably going to be very long. I'm going to try to film it as much as best as I possibly can. Uh, but with this being such a attention required task I might fail but I'm gonna try my best not to other than that Uncle Ken's gonna be on his way over here in a second uh, Miss Bird will also be joining us later to give us a hand but nothing left to do but to get to work <laughs> We got Ken, we got Miss Bird. Do something. Ralph! 
All right, cool. All right, so one thing I forgot to mention in the intro is that before we actually take the fenders off, I'm going to have to rewire that uh, license plate bracket from last time, and here's the reason why. So as I was wiring up this uh, license plate bracket, uh, I put it through this hole right here. I know it's probably really hard to see because everything's black, but uh, the wires come through the hole and then they get soldered right into uh, the wiring harness to operate. Uh, I was gonna do a quick connect, kind of like uh, plugs, and I was like, you know what? I'm never gonna take my fender off. And then uh, a couple days later, I'm like, I was like that cat from that meme with the newspaper, and I was like, I should wrap my Dyna. So I decided to wrap my Dyna. So now we're gonna have to uh, basically undo everything that we just did last episode and uh, put in some quick disconnects. But that's really boring and it's really hard to film. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, snap our fingers and be done with it. So we got the uh, rear fender off. I'm gonna be an expert at that by the time we're through with this. And the front fender off, which was extremely easy as well. Uh, what we're gonna do now is um, drain the tank and start uh, seeing what that entails. I've never taken the tank off of this bike before, so it'll be a, a learning experience. Let's get back to work. Ken, help me out here with the uh, the cleaning, and we're gonna go outside and get the parts done. All right, uh, we got most of the stuff off. All right, Alicia, would you have me hold this? <laughs> she doesn't need it. You're a good little boy. All right, I got this way blocked. Now we're gonna have to do them ourselves because she's definitely, we should have done that afterwards now that I'm thinking about it. She definitely stopped up the stairs just now. Oh yeah, she's she's genuinely upset. So we're gonna have to go clean the parts ourselves now. She was gonna help us, but obviously that's not gonna happen, but I'd say it's worth it. Worth it, yeah, totally worth it. Totally worth it. So uh, we're, obviously I'm not gonna go outside and show you where I live. So uh, we're just gonna do one of those fast forward things and the parts gonna be clean. All right, guys, and we're back. We actually took a little break after we got everything nice and clean. I don't want to touch it, of course, because oils and stuff like that. Uh, Miss Bird did come and join us again. Tell us about your experience. I thought I was going to pass out. I thought she was going to pass out, too, to be completely honest. I thought Ken was going to pass out from laughing so much. Uh, we're back live here. Um, got the Patreons back. There's really nothing left to do but to get to rapping. Sorry, I had to make one cheesy rap joke. We're gonna start on the front fender because I believe that's going to be the easiest and work our way up to the harder parts. Uh, probably the tank's gonna be last, most likely. So, I'm nervous. 
But um, just gotta tell myself, quit being a pussy, and let's get to work. All right, so we've got one piece done. We start with the front fender, because I thought it was gonna be the easiest, but it was actually a lot more technical than I thought. But it turned out, all right, definitely not perfect, but for my first time doing uh, something of this size and complexity, I'm somewhat decently proud of myself. But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna actually put that on the bike since it's really easy to put on and I'll need to take a break from bending over because my back's already kind of done. So we're gonna put this piece back on the bike and then start with probably the fairing next. Probably the fairing. So yeah, let's get back to work. again for another update uh, we went ahead and got the fairing done that was actually not as bad as I was expecting it to be and uh, who daddy does it look good the whole front end just looks absolutely killer it really just makes that red pop even more with the lighter color up front ah love it now we're going to be moving on to the tank which is probably going to be the hardest part of this whole operation like I mentioned earlier, we're basically going to have to wrap this in two separate pieces and then uh, cover up the seams with the dashboard. So, but what's gonna make it even harder is if you look on the bottom here, we've got the quick connect, we've got the crossover tube, we've got the hole that the uh, gas gauge runs through. Just a lot of crap that's gonna get in the way on one side, actually both sides. So I'm just gonna try to make it look as good as possible. Like I said, 30-30 is gonna be the goal for today. So let's get to it. Excuse 
it's just James. Oh. Really? There are two types of girls in this world. Two completely <laughs> different types. <laughs> All right, guys, coming back to you with another update. Um, that half of the tank took two hours, close to. Yeah, it was a bitch. And we ended up having to kind of call an audible. I don't know if the camera picked it up. For some reason, my batteries are dying in like 30 minutes. So, but here's how the tank looks. As you can see, we only have half of it done. If I just stand right here, it looks perfect. <laughs> so, 30-30 achieved. But uh, we ended up having to cut a line here with a knifeless tape just because we were not able to wrap it all the way. Even it, doing it in two parts, this tank is hard. Very hard. So, uh, respect to all the wrappers out there that can wrap motorcycle tanks. <laughs> Ken is trying to convince me to, uh, to leave it two-tone like this. Which, don't get me wrong, with the dash on, with the flat gray, the flat black, and the gloss black, it doesn't look half bad. But when I see it, the first thing I think of is Two-Face off of Batman, and I'm afraid that's what everyone else is going to think of as well. And that's obviously not what I'm going for. So, we're going to just, I guess, do another two-hour session on the other side of the tank. Let's get it to work. guys so back with another update uh, the second half of the tank was actually a lot easier I don't know if it was because we had practice or if it's because the right side of the tank is a lot different than the left side of the tank as far as like how geometry and how it's shaped and everything like that but I uh, got got it all on got it done I have to say it looks pretty awesome I went ahead and did the badges too I was worried that uh, without the badges it looked just like primer but uh, it looks a lot lighter on camera actually the, the gray is actually a lot darker without the badges it looked like a bike that hadn't been painted yet so so I was really worried that I was gonna look like a primered bike but now that I put the badges on I think it looks fine the only thing we have left to do is the rear fender and then a little pieces here and there that I'm going to do, but i um, not going to be able to do those today. We have uh, exceeded our time limit. We've been doing this for nine hours now. No, eight, no, 10 hours now. <laughs> and uh, we've been huffing gas the whole time because, you know, gas tank and yeah. So we're feeling lightheaded, we're feeling sick, we're feeling hungry, we're feeling tired. So we're going to go ahead and cut to day two, but for you guys, it's going to just be a second. So, and good morning. Hi. Oh man. I had such a great night's nice sleep. I slept for almost 11 hours last night, refilling that sleep bank, as people have been putting it. Guys on the live stream, I'm sorry. Uh, I was supposed to go live at nine. We just went live at 11, so I apologize. But sometimes you just need to get that sleep. No, it wasn't done on purpose. It's not like I was like, ah, screw the live stream. But anyways, uh, back for day two. We're going to be starting off with the rear fender. Uncle Ken will not be joining us today, unfortunately. He said uh, Sundays, are for my wife now because she no longer works Sunday so I can completely respect that but we really could have used an extra set of hands today. <laughs> 
We'll get it done though. I also just want to give a special shout out to Ms. Bird for killing it on the vinyl yesterday. I have to just swallow my pride and admit that she's better at vinyl wrapping than I am. I think she's more of a patient person. She's also very good with hands-on crafts and stuff like that. So that's probably why. But anyways, let's, let's go ahead and get to work. All right, so after two attempts, we have failed twice, even with using different techniques. So we're going to plan B, and that involves a little bit of uh, tape and string action. So as you can see, Ms. Bird is laying down the, uh, the line here. Essentially what that will mean is wherever you see this green line, that's where the gray will end. And then we'll do another piece uh, right here. So basically this bend right here will stay black and all the rest will be silver. So. Not uh, exactly what we wanted, but I still think that it will turn out looking really good. Agreed? Yes. All right. I agree. So let's get back to work. Halfway through now, uh, we got the lines cut. They actually look pretty good, um, but we had to heat it up to kill the memory of the vinyl. So we're gonna let this piece cool down. Uh, while that's being done, I'm actually gonna be taking off some more vinyl. And but yeah, I've got a, I've got a couple more things I need to do on the bike. So I'm gonna do those while that piece is cooling off, and then we'll get back to doing step two of part B.
quick update here. We got the uh, uh, rear fender, and that's how tired I am. Our rear fender is completely done now. Uh, like I said, we had to go with plan B and do a little two-tone action. I think it actually turned out pretty, pretty good here. But uh, now we're gonna get the fender back on the bike. We also got the swing arms wrapped while that was cooling. Uh, of course, got the RIP Dyna back on there. And now all that's left to do is to get the bike buttoned back up and then little details like horn cover, mirror accents, things like that. So uh, let's continue working. do it the bike is done for now I know I mentioned I was gonna do the horn cover and some axe and stuff like that I actually ran out of supplies that I need for that so I'm gonna be saving that for next build series uh, but overall extremely happy with how the bike turned out uh, I think it makes the red pieces pop a lot and I absolutely love that uh, I'm actually growing on the two-tone on the fender especially now that I got the uh, the decal on there so uh, overall extremely satisfied with how the project has turned out definitely the refresh that I was wanting uh, on the bike but uh, after two days of just non-stop working on the bike I don't even want to look at this thing right now I'm so tired I just want to go take a 12-hour nap so thank you for all who came out to watch uh, special shout out to Uncle Ken and Alicia uh, Miss Bird for helping us this episode also shout out to all of the uh, patreons who came and joined us on the live stream a lot of them were there for the entire 20 something hours maybe 16 or ish, but I'm beat. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. Uh, please read the comments before you ask them so I'm not answering the same question 500 times. But if you like this video, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.